Greetings, I am Mary Larry from Gary, and this is episode 112 of the Sims 4 Gallery Lots series. And this particular lot is called Christmas Present. It's on a 30 by 20. And this particular creator I've done before, in fact, in fact, not too long ago, it was on episode 197. And it was a snowman one. I can't remember exactly the name of the lot, so pardon me on that. Alright, let's go take a look at some of these photos and see if it does it justice or not. Yes, there are, you do need to have work done on this. So if you download it, there's a bunch of things you're going to have to do, and I will show you. As soon as we uh, take a look at this thing. Because, yeah, that is so pretty. And it bums me out that, as you can tell, both my sims are standing outside, not in. I have gotten them inside. But, you're going to have to do it as well. So I re-downloaded this just for I can show what it originally it looks like. Okay, so these black and or gray boxes, those you're gonna have to make smaller. The footprint is just way too big. These boxes, one, two, three, you're gonna have to individually move them. This these two blue are all have to go over this way. This one's gonna have to go over here. And this blue one over here is going to have to move out a little bit. And this big stack right here, that's all basically one set of presents. That is going to move out just a smidge. But wait, Harry Larry. There's a big gigantic path right there. Yeah, sadly, that path is just not doable. <coughs> Don't ask me why, I thought it was. But yeah, presents, footprints, when you made them bigger, they just got way too big. But I really like the look of this place, that's why I picked it. So yeah, both sim, uh, my sims came over here and tried to get in. Hence why I moved all those, those four. You move those four, make the, that black one smaller, you'll be able to get into the door. The ones over here on the side, you'll be able to cook on the stove. And yeah, I like the look of this place inside and out. So yeah, just a smidge it must have been uh, getting into that. Alright, come on in here. And yes, I am waving. You are more than welcome to wave back. Okay, one last thing that needs to be done. But first, let's take one last look. That just looks really nice. And I was really kind of sad by this. But yeah, the Sims can't sleep in the bed. So even after I moved the present outside to get rid of that footprint, I am kind of wondering that wall right there. That might be in the way. Or the reason why. So if you cut out that bump out, there we go, I'm back to moving around again. If you cut out that bump out, then you lose your little computer uh, station. So you got to figure out what you want to do with it. All right, let's go take a top down view. Because yeah, I thought it was something like this myself. I'm really bummed out it didn't work as well as it should anyways. So you might have to put this on a slightly bigger lot. 
that way you can move out the presence a little easier. Obviously you can move them, use BB move objects anyways, and you can usually move them off your lot a smidge. Or not more than halfway anyways. Yeah, but I really, really like this place. It's just sad that, yeah. So anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Like the lot, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment or share the video if you know somebody you'd like to see it. And of course, don't forget about the notification bell. Hopefully I'll see you on the next episode. Yeah. Poor house. So I'm going to have to call this one mostly playable. With work. So, until next episode. Later.